Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to explain a movie called The Super Mario Brothers. Get comfortable. The purpose of the film overcoming one's fears, never giving up, and believing in oneself. Mario feels like a failure and Luigi is fearful of things going wrong, but they have to push through these obstacles to focus on their strengths. The film is about a Brooklyn plumber named Mario travels through the Mushroom Kingdom with a princess named Peach and an anthropomorphic mushroom named Toad to find Mario's brother, Luigi, and to save the world from a ruthless fire-breathing Koopa named Bowser. The film starts in an ice kingdom of blue penguins where a large menacing ship belonging to the Koopa. Once they land, the Koopa army emerges to confront the penguins. Comic comes out to introduce their king, the sinister Bowser. While the penguins attempt to fight back, Comic uses his magic to throw them to the side before Bowser unleashes his fire breath to melt the penguin's ice castle. Then, he goes to a box with a question mark and crushes it, revealing the superstar. Bowser then boasts that there is nobody who can stop him. Later, in Brooklyn, brothers Mario and Luigi are watching a commercial for their new plumbing business. There, they get mocked by their ex-boss foreman Spike, but Mario steps in to defend his brother since Luigi is nervous and easily afraid. A moment later, the brothers get a phone call for their first big job. Unfortunately, their van breaks down, forcing them to run across a construction site to make it to their destination. After that, the brothers arrive at the home of a wealthy couple, where Luigi already makes a bad impression when he steps on the toy of the couple's dog, Francis. Then, Mario quickly fixes their leaky faucet, but Francis goes after them. This leads to the bathroom getting more wrecked and Francis nearly falling out the window until Mario and Luigi save him. Later, the two returns home where they live with their family and are having pasta with mushrooms. We learn, their parents don't have faith in their plumbing business and write it off as a silly dream, leaving Mario dejected. Then, Luigi goes to comfort his brother, who says he wishes he didn't always feel so small. They then see the news that there is a massive pipe burst in downtown Brooklyn, and Mario thinks only he and Luigi can fix it. We saw Mario and Luigi make it underground as the streets start to get flooded. That time, they find the source of the problem and start to climb their way to the main pipe, but they end up falling deeper into the sewers until they come across a system of pipes. Later, the brothers get pulled in through one of the pipes and are taken through portals where they are separated. After that, Luigi ends up in the Dark Lands, where he is found by skeletal Koopa called Dry Bones. Then, they chase him until he runs toward a castle where he thinks he is safe until little masked minions end up capturing Luigi. At one moment, Mario ends up in a land full of giant mushrooms. He meets a little mushroom-headed creature, a toad named Toad. Then, Mario explains to Toad that he got separated from Luigi, and based on his description, Toad figures Luigi is in the Dark Lands. So, he guides Mario to the Mushroom Kingdom so they can get help. After that, Mario and Toad arrive at the castle of Princess Peach. We learn that she knows Bowser is a threat and is making plans to face off against him with the help of the Kong army after he took the penguins prisoner. So, Toad helps Mario sneak into her castle, and Peach is ecstatic to meet another human. Moreover, Mario asks for her help in finding Luigi, and she says she will once she sees what he is made of. We saw... Peach shows Mario an obstacle course that he must go through to prove himself. However, she does it effortlessly in one go, and she shows him the power-ups that he can use, but unfortunately for Mario, they're mushrooms. After that, he eats one that makes him bigger and stronger, but whenever he gets hit, he loses the power-up. That time, Mario endures hours of falling platforms, man-eating flowers, and wrecking balls. Then, on his last try, he nearly makes it before the flower chomps on him, but it's enough to convince Peach that Mario can help fight Bowser. Eventually, Peach departs from the Toads as they head to the Calm Kingdom, but they are joined by Toad. Before their journey, Peach demonstrates an ability to Mario to produce fire using a flower. So, he asks where she came from, but Peach isn't sure. She remembers coming to the Mushroom Kingdom as a lost child, and the Toads raised her before making her their princess. After aboard the Koopa ship, Bowser explains his plan to marry Peach and rule together with her using the Superstar. Later, Bowser sings a piano ballad to himself before Comic comes in to inform him that Peach has been spotted with Mario, making him super jealous. Then, the Shy Guys bring in Luigi, whom Bowser tortures for information on his brother. In the meantime, Mario, Peach, and Toad arrive at the Kong Kingdom to speak to Cranky Kong over gaining his army to fight Bowser, but he refuses. However, Mario steps up, 
Determined to save Luigi, so Cranky agrees to help on the condition that Mario fight Cranky's son in the arena and win. Mario agrees, despite Peach saying it's a bad idea. In the arena, Mario is pitted against Donkey Kong. Naturally, the much smaller Mario initially gets hooped by DK until he starts to take advantage of power-ups. Moreover, he eats a blue mushroom and gets a power-up that gives him a cat suit, allowing him to use cat-like reflexes against Donkey Kong. Later, the ape throws barrels at Mario, but he dodges them and uses his power to punch DK down below, defeating him. Cranky agrees for the Kong army to help Peach. We saw Luigi is imprisoned alongside the penguins and their king, along with a cheerful little star called Lomali. Then, Bowser also learns about the Kong's alliance with Peach, and he plans to stop them. After that, the heroes assemble carts to go after the Koopa. They ride across Rainbow Road to head after them, but Bowser's army ambushes them. Then, the Koopa attack, but Mario and the others are able to fend most of them off. Toad almost falls off, but Peach rescues him. Later, a Koopa general tries to use his rig to kill Mario, but he avoids the attack and blows up the general's vehicle. However, the general gets angered and activates his blue shell, performing a Kamazake attack that destroys part of the bridge and sends Mario and Donkey Kong falling into the ocean. Eventually, the Kongs are captured and Peach rushes back to the kingdom with Toad to warn everyone. At one moment, Mario and DK argue as they fall into the water, but DK is knocked out by a falling cart tire. After that, Mario saves him, but they are both devoured by a gigantic moray. They find a rocket from DK's cart and use it to blast themselves out of its stomach and on their way back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Later, Peach returns to get the toads to evaluate, but Bowser and his goons show up. Then, he offers his proposal to Peach, who immediately refuses until Bowser orders Comic to torture Toad. Peach then agrees as long as the toads are unharmed. Comic then goes to the other prisoners to announce that they will be sacrificed. We saw the wedding ceremony is about to go off until Bowser presents the sacrifices. Then, Peach says she was never going to marry him and takes in a blue flower to give herself ice powers. After that, she freezes the mechanism and Bowser while the toads begin to fight the Koopa. But, the mechanism breaks apart and the prisoners are lowered further into lava, with Luigi nearly dying first until Donkey Kong arrives, having been powered up with Mario, to rise them back up. Later, Luigi falls until Mario shows up in a tanuki outfit that lets him fly. At one moment, Bowser breaks free from the ice and orders a bomber bill to be launched at the Mushroom Kingdom to obliterate it. Then, Mario flies in Bill's eye and gets the giant bomb to chase after him, leading him to the portal pipes where Bill explodes. Later, everyone ends up back in Brooklyn, including the Koopa ship. A now enraged Bowser attacks Mario and beats him down, saying he has no chance to stop him. While Peach and DK try to fight, Mario hides in the pizzeria and sees his commercial with Luigi, inspiring him to keep up the fight. We saw Bowser loses the superstar, and Mario tries to grab it, but Bowser lets out his fire breath until Luigi steps in to shield Mario with a manhole cover. Then, the two run to the star and touch it, making them invincible and powerful, officially becoming the Super Mario Brothers. Eventually, they plow through the Koopa and proceed to kick Bowser's but before slamming into him together and annihilating his ship. Now on a weekend, Peach feeds Bowser a blue mushroom to turn him tiny and Toad traps him in a jar. Eventually, Mario and Luigi's parents, the people of Brooklyn, and even Spike cheer for the brothers for saving everyone. Later on, Mario and Luigi continue their plumbing business, only they are now residing in the Mushroom Kingdom. Later, the brothers hop into a portal pipe for another adventure. We see in mid credit scene, Tiny Bowser tries to sing a song in his cage before Toad tells him to shut up. Eventually, post credit scene, in the sewers of Brooklyn, a little egg with green spots begins to hatch, and a little voice calls out, Yoshi. So, that was all from the video. Please, give us a suggestion of movies you want us to upload next. Thank you for watching and being part of our family. Just to let you know, we are posting videos every day for you. Please subscribe to give us more motivation and you will not miss our daily video.